Horns up guys and welcome to a brand new Headbangers Kitchen Keto Vlog. We've got a lot to talk about today. For starters, I'm back from my two week long vacation to Vietnam and Bangkok. Now most of you were aware of my vacation and some of you even followed my food posts on Instagram. So the first question is, do you follow us on Instagram? When I say us, I mean me, Headbangers Kitchen. If you don't, head on over to Instagram and follow at Headbangers Kitchen and you can experience Vietnam and Bangkok through my eyes. All the food I ate actually, well, more or less. Also, if you've been following the channel, I have been releasing videos over the last two weeks despite not being here because I filmed a lot of episodes before leaving. So we had a whole bunch of them. We had the egg curry, the four easy vegetarian keto recipes and the coconut mug bread. So do check out the videos if you haven't already. They're on the channel, of course. Also, our Headbangers Kitchen merchandise is back in stock. The official Headbangers Kitchen t-shirt is now available in all sizes on redwolf.in. We are shipping all over the world, so it doesn't matter if you live in the USA or in Ukraine, we can ship it to you, no problem. Now this particular vlog is going to focus on the weight gain during my vacation and me transitioning back to keto and how I plan to lose the weight and a couple of other things. I was considering doing an extensive vlog about my food journey in Vietnam. If that's something you'd like to see, please leave me a comment below. Basically, I would talk about where I stayed, where I ate, what I ate, how did it taste, what you should eat if you ever go to Vietnam or Bangkok and basically give you a nice complete food guide or a food tour to Vietnam and Bangkok, at least the parts that I experienced. So leave me a comment if you'd like to watch a video on that. Now let's talk keto. Before I left for the vacation, I was 67.4 kilos. I was 2.4 kilos away from my goal weight and I had uh, sort of incorporated some light weight training into my daily routine. But of course, going on a food vacation where you're going to eat pretty much everything you can, all that sort of went to hell and I decided to forego keto for the entire vacation. And the result of that, well, I gained four whole kilos, which is about 8.8 .8, uh, pounds, I think. Yes, if I'm not mistaken. Now, the 8.8 .8 kilos is not just from eating regular food. I will say that there were a couple of things that obviously factored in here. The first thing being that I was on a vacation where the purpose was to eat. Now, before going on the vacation, I used to intermittent fast and I was eating maybe 1300 calories a day or 1400 calories a day. I was intermittent fasting and yeah, so my consumption of calories was not that high. But once we started the vacation, I was eating three meals a day and I was eating snacks and I was basically trying to fit every single possible food into my mouth so that I could taste literally everything and not feel like I didn't try all the dishes on holiday. So I was obviously eating 2000 to 2500 calories a day probably. I was however doing a lot of walking. So I was doing some amount of exercise but obviously not enough which is why I gained weight four and four four kilos so to speak. Now, what is my plan? Today is, I think, Thursday. It's the 8th, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm going to start my keto from Monday because there are a couple of foods I want to eat before I go back onto keto because I plan to go a good long time without any cheat days. And I'm also going to make sure I do some amount of weight training during this process. So I think the first week I'm just going to do regular keto because I want to also do a couple of video recipes of pho and the chicken rice that I ate in Vietnam and I do a keto version of it and I think you guys might enjoy that. Give this video a thumbs up if you would enjoy watching those recipes. The week after that I'm considering doing maybe a week or two weeks of vegan keto. Um, I don't know I just felt that that was something I wanted to try after doing the vegetarian keto for a week. Uh, I think it would be kind of interesting to see how uh, easy or difficult it is to do keto being a vegan because I don't see why a vegan should not do keto if they would like to. So I will try that. Of course your recipe suggestions for vegan dishes is always welcome and it's going to be interesting for sure. So that's just the basic stuff that I'm going to get into now. Uh, there's not much else to talk about in this vlog except that we are almost at 50,000 subscribers on YouTube. 
I am so grateful for all your support and I hope you guys will keep sharing the channel on Facebook, on Twitter, on whatever social media you use and let's grow this channel. Let's hit 100,000. Forget 50,000. That's small fry. Let's go in for the big numbers. 100,000 before the year ends. What do you guys say? Do you think we can do it? Also, while I was in Vietnam, I did two live streams very spontaneously. If you haven't watched them, do check them out. They're on the channel. Now, while I was in Vietnam, I couldn't do too much shopping because we were using low cost airlines to fly around and you know the whole scene with luggage, it's a nightmare. But I did some amount of shopping at the duty free, picked up some coffees and I also did some shopping in Bangkok. So let me show you quickly what I picked up on my trip. Okay, so let me show you what I've got. It's a whole bunch of stuff. Now, some of it is keto, some of it is not keto, but I'll go over everything with you right now. In the meat section, we got some beef pastrami here because beef pastrami is not available in India. And here is some ham. Oh, I got two packets of this. This is delicious. I bought it on my previous trip from Bangkok as well. Now here we got some strange black rice. Dipti picked this up because she wanted it. And we got some truffle pesto here. But this is not from Bangkok or Vietnam. It's from the UK. We met a friend of ours in the, on the trip and she picked this up from the UK. I got myself some sticky rice, obviously for my cheap days, not for keto. Got this from the airport, really, really cheap. It's super expensive in India. And then here is my Vietnamese coffee. So that I'm really looking forward. Vietnamese coffee is awesome. And I got the Vietnamese coffee filter as well. And then here is my coffee from Bangkok. Couple of different blends. Yeah, that's also Vietnamese coffee. Got a strange soybean paste. I have no idea if this is keto or not. It probably isn't. Some soy sauce, some fish sauce, local stuff. Thought I'd give it a try. And got some spices. Some very cool spices if you can check it out. So got me some ground garlic, some lemongrass, something called, what is this? Ground coffee lime leaf, ground pandan leaf. Now this is in the chicken rice, the Hainanese chicken rice. So I want to try this and got some ground Sichuan pepper. And then of course, some pork rinds from the streets of Bangkok, which Dipti wanted. And now this is Dipti's baking stuff because she likes to bake. So some vanilla extract, orange extract, gelatin, yeast, different kinds of yeast. Then for my mother, I got some ginger. She loves this ginger candy. We also got some mango candy. Again, not keto, not for me, not for uh, my keto diet. Some beef jerky and some cocoa powder. And that's pretty much all I got from Bangkok. Anyway, that's pretty much all the stuff I wanted to cover in this vlog. I hope you enjoyed watching it. I will give you a follow-up vlog one week from now to see whether I lost the four kilos that I put on on the holiday. And what else? Make sure you follow us on Instagram. I know I said that earlier, but Instagram is cool and I post a lot of cool stuff there. Or at least I like to think so. And yep, that's pretty much from me. I will see you guys on the next episode of Headbangers Kitchen. Cheers and keep ketoing.